I basically, I test, I had built a couple sites with Gatsby. And so I was familiar with React. I felt like it was just massive overkill. I tried Vue. I had built a production app with Vue on businessinternet.com. And it was super early. It was super early days when I had done that. I found it, its API a little hard to use. And so I, I was trying out Svelte on a vacation, as one does. I was like, there's this new library. Let's see what this looks like. And I went through the tutorials, and it was like, this just makes sense. Like, you get basically the single file components with interactivity that is super easy to maintain and reason about. You got stores, so you don't have to deal with Redux or any of the other magic that needs to happen to keep things in sync. And yeah, it just seemed like it was an obvious choice. And so when I started building Elder Guide, I tried to use Sapper, which is now SvelteKit. And I found it was too hard to reason about what was running on the server and what was running on the client. And that was the main like catalyst that, well, that and the, the builds of like a 4,000, 5,000 page site, it was taking an incredible amount of time. And with Elder.js, I'm like, this has to be faster. And part of the problem is, is many of these static site generators, what they do is they spin up a headless browser and they crawl your site like a bot would do. One of the key things that Elder.js did from the beginning was we need you to define all of your requests up front unless you're using server-side rendering. And that allows us to have a superpower where we can build everything in parallel. In some cases, there was one user that was testing Elder.js against Hugo, and we, we were beating Hugo on like 10,000 page sites. So that's, uh, the JavaScript can be very fast if you're thinking about it and you have all the data up front. So, yeah. Well, actually, before, before you go on to that, so to bring it full circle, it really did help you move faster. Like the, the kind of the, the simplicity of Svelte, like, you know, there's some wind there that's like was worth it for y'all, right? Definitely. So a good example is I've worked with the same HTML, CSS guy for years, right? He knows some JavaScript and he picked up Vue. He's been someone that I've worked with for a long time. And I was like, hey, try this out. Tell me what you think. He's like, I can do things that I never thought I could do. And like giving people superpowers allows a small team to move much, much faster. And I think Svelte does that in a way that I didn't see in the, the Vue or React ecosystems. And so, yeah, you don't have the huge libraries. You don't have like React Table or any of these other major libraries. But building a table interface is, you know, an hour of work. It's not that hard to make your own reusable components. We haven't been limited by that at all. In a lot of ways, we also probably ship a lot less JavaScript because we write it all in-house. <laughs> 